Hola oyentes y bienvenidos de nuevo a otro episodio de Straight A's, un podcast sobre estudiantes de secundaria, escrito por estudiantes de secundaria. Oh, sorry. Hey listeners, and welcome back to another episode of Straight A's, a podcast about middle schoolers by middle schoolers. I'm your only host today, Billy. Now you're probably wondering, where's Lester and where's Chuck? Well, due to time constraints, from now on, in order to be able to live up to our promise for releasing an episode every week, only hosts who have time will record the episode. For example, this week, only I have time. So today, it's only me. But maybe next week, it's Lester and Chuck. Anyways, today, as you probably guessed from the title and the intro, we're talking about whether or not it should be mandatory for all middle school students to learn a foreign language. It's a topic that stirs up as much controversy as pineapple on pizza, or the proper way to hang a roll of toilet paper. We'll tackle this growing question in today's episode, right after this quick break. Now, learning a foreign language in middle school is like trying to teach a pet goldfish how to play the trumpet. It's ambitious. But is it really necessary? I mean, do you need to add the stress of mastering a new language to the chaotic life of a middle schooler? Um, just imagine trying to memorize verbs that look like gibberish while struggling to find out what X is for the 53rd time. I can already feel myself getting stressed out. On the other hand, there's something undeniably cool about being able to drop a few lines in French or Spanish at the ripe age of only 13. It's like having a secret superpower you can bust out at family gatherings to impress your relatives. Plus, think of all the potential for a hilarious mix-up and mispronunciations. Now that we've briefly touched on the main points of this argument, let's dive a little deeper into the pros and the cons, starting with the pros. But before we get into the details, let's address the elephant in the room. Why should we even bother learning a foreign language when when we can just use Google Translate? I mean, who needs to learn Spanish with a handy-dandy app that can turn Hola, como estas? into Hello, how are you? with a simple tap of a screen. But here's the kicker. Google Translate can't say when you accidentally tell someone your gr- their grandmother is a refrigerator instead of asking for directions to the nearest bakery. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's begin. When we're talking about learning foreign languages, let's not forget the cultural enrichment that comes with learning a foreign language. It's like taking a trip around the world without ever even leaving your classroom. You get to explore new traditions, foods, and perspectives, all while trying to wrap your head around irregular verbs. It's like a whirlwind adventure, except for vocabulary quizzes instead of passport stamps. I mean, picture this. You're strolling through the streets of Paris, effortlessly ordering a croissant and charming the locals with your impeccable French accent. Or imagine negotiating a business deal in Tokyo, impressing your Japanese counterparts with their fluency in their native language. Learning a foreign language opens doors to new cultures, experience, and oppor- experiences, and opportunities. It's like having a secret superpower that allows you to connect with people from all over the world. Another pretty obvious reason is vacation. If you can fluently speak Spanish, for example, without sounding like a llama with a mouthful of toothpaste, you can travel pretty much all of South America and Spain. This opens up a lot of possibility when your family is booking a vacation trip. They don't need to worry about finding everybody speaks fluent English. They can just rely on you. Also, according to the University of North Georgia, studying a foreign language can increase your chances of getting a job. And it makes sense, too. The global job market is always growing. If you don't know a foreign language, then that entire branch of your potential future career will be permanently cut off. Learning a foreign language doesn't only mean memorizing words and vocabulary. It's also about culture. Studying a foreign language can help you understand traditions and customs that certain cultures might have that you don't know about, such as Day of the Dead or Diwali. And lastly, according to GoAbroad.com, studies have demonstrated the cognitive effects of learning another language, no matter how old you are. These studies have shown that bilinguals, or people who can fluently speak two languages, tend to have bigger brains, better memory, are more creative, better problem solvers, etc. Not only do these advantages make it easier to learn yet more languages, but it also makes it easier to learn, well, anything. The ability to quickly switch between tasks is especially important in today's busy multitasking world. Bilinguals can switch between tasks much faster than a monolingual or people who can only speak one language counterparts and can handle many tasks at once. Now let's talk about the cons of learning a foreign language. After this straight A study tip. Hey everyone, we're really, really sorry we forgot to put a study tip in our last three episodes. So to make that up, we're going to put three study tips in this episode. Okay, let's start. Straight A study tip number two. When studying, try to study in groups. 
Research shows that working with other people can help you learn more information quickly and efficiently. This tip applies to any subject. Next, straight A study, study tip number three. When studying for long periods, take frequent breaks to relieve stress. Working for long periods without taking a break is bad for your body and your health. Even Albert Einstein took a five minute break every 30 minutes. He works. Just like Einstein, you don't have to have you don't have to take a super long break. You can just take a break for five to ten minutes. However, you shouldn't get too overboard with this. Don't study for five minutes and then take a thirty minute break. It should be the opposite. This tip also applies to any subject. And lastly, straight A study tip number four. Listen to music while studying. Research shows that listening to music can help you learn better. And it's fun too. This tip, you guessed it, also applies to any subject. Now back to the show. But on the other side, let's be real for a moment. Middle school is tough enough without throwing irregular verbs and gender nouns into the mix. It's like adding hot sauce to a bowl of ice cream. Unnecessary and potentially disastrous. Maybe we should focus on helping these kids survive pre-algebra before we can send, send them off to conquer the complexities of a foreign language. Middle school is already hard enough. Do we really need to spend hours on Duolingo just trying to memorize the word friolento? Plus, learning a language isn't easy. It's actually extremely challenging. As the brain develops, it becomes more specialized and, re and reinforces the neural pathways that are regularly used. This is why those who learn a language at a very young age have the accent of a native speaker. Adding on, because it's harder to learn a language the older you become, lots of people became, become stressful over trying to learn a new language. Learning a language takes time. It takes about two to three years of full dedication of learn to learn a new language. But people usually don't have that time, causing them to become extremely stressed out. And let's be honest, being stressed out is not very good for your mental health. Also, learning, eno learning another language requires lots of time, effort, and patience, which are things not everybody has. Lots of students also have lots of extracurricular activities outside of school and don't have time to learn that the two L's in Spanish make a Y sound. Learning a foreign language is a waste of time, especially when we could be mastering more practical skills like perfecting the art of perfect eye rolling and learning how to survive on a diet of pizza and instant noodles. Also, some students are new to the country when they move to a new school. Should we really force them to learn a new language when they're already studying with learning one? They're people too, and we can't exclude them from this argument. So what's the verdict? Should all middle school students learn a foreign language? The answer is simply a resounding we, oui, or si, sí, or ya, yeah, or whatever language you prefer. Because let's face it, life's too short to limit yourself to just one way of expressing yourself. However, we, oui, or well, actually today, I think that it should be only mandatory to kids who can fluently speak English so international students don't need to be even more stressed out over learning another language. In summary, I think that students who aren't international students should learn a foreign language because it gives because it has benefits. However, students teachers don't necessarily need to slap a grade on it. Learning a language can be really hard, but we shouldn't completely ignore it. So you can still enjoy all the benefits of learning a new language, but you don't have to worry about stress and time issues. As you're probably used to by now, we have some quick announcements before you leave. Before you go, here's an update on the online tool leaderboard as of now. Right now, GameKit is in the lead, followed by Khan Academy. To refresh your memory, the online tool poll is a poll we will be holding for the rest of Season 1. We will be holding a poll in each episode to figure out what you guys, our viewers, think is the most useful online tool when it comes to learning and studying. You can choose from apps like the Calculator app or websites like Khan Academy. It would be appreciated if, it would be greatly appreciated if you could vote in the a vote in the poll so we could help other middle schoolers like you get the best of their educational potential. If the option you choose is tell you, tells you to specify, please specify by leaving a comment about what you chose. This week's shout out is to Sang Wu Kang, who left us a comment in our cell phone dilemma episode. If you want to be shouted out, consider leaving a comment and leaving a review. Leaving a comment and reviewing our show can help other middle schoolers like you find this show. I'm your host, Billy. That's all for today's episode. See you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.